Hello everybody, I'm Nistorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, we declared our war on Somalia to open up a third front on Ethiopia, which we have done. And we are driving across southern Ethiopia now. And uh, still bogging down a bit. They are putting up a far tougher fight than expected, but hopefully we will wear them down soon. And, um, yeah, keep on working on that. We've got a new aircraft carrier to design that we made. We're starting to work on our uh, nuclear technology, which I have, haven't really worked on yet at all. I am trying to engage in strategic bombing for the first time. License a strategic bomber from the U.S. While we... We don't even have anywhere close to our own. So. We will see how that goes. Alright. Now, upon loading in here, we have a bunch more places that would like to join the faction. Panama is still a no. Somaliland is... Okay. Sure. Um, Jubaland. Yeah, sure. Welcome aboard, Jubaland. Puntland. Yeah, okay. Somalia. Did I just absorb them? They are currently nationalists, but I'll, I'm going to have to keep an eye on these guys. Democratic Republic of Congo has capitulated. What? Like, there hasn't been a, a DR Con of Congo in a long time. I don't know what that was all about. Ah, let's say we got some, uh, an encirclement here. Ah. Well, there was an encirclement. And there really isn't much else that I can do here. The F-79 Dragon Flare, but we're going to recall that something else. We're going to get the carrier-based version of that. That is a multi-role fighter currently, is it not? The Prometheus. All right. 
We have a lot of those in stock. Um... I am going to need to come up with a name for that. Just give me a moment. Okay, we'll call this the M4 Atlas. I, I'm also upgrading it, so uh, we'll throw that in there. And... Am I still calling this a light jet? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'll think about that one later. Um, speaking of aircraft, one of the things I want to do here is get some airfields down here. Yeah, we still do need the air supply. The United States wants a $9.6 trillion bailout. No, not yet. I could just completely absorb them. I don't want to do that just yet. Because that's going to cause just a massive headache, I think. We're, we're starting to push through. We might actually link up some fronts here in a second. Yeah, because they're just, they're just starting to get spread too thin. If we can link through here... Then we'll get a we'll get a pocket formed over here. Oh, well we got a pocket formed here. Get in there, destroy them. headway here. Wait a minute. Why are we short stuff? Because Chile and Argentina are not sending me what I need. Alright, Chile and Argentina. Oh yeah. I almost completely forgot. We're starting this. Well, we're overbuying on rubber, so we can reduce that purchase. Um, that'll take care of what I need. Djibouti wants a bailout of 23 trillion dollars. What?
You. How on God's green earth did you end up 929,392,3 billion, billion dollars in debt? You're paying 8.9 trillion dollars in interest on your debt. Your weekly balance is negative 8.8 .8 trillion. You're losing almost 9 trillion dollars a week. Holy smokes. Uh, probably just need to annex them just to put them out of their misery. They're not aligned. Yeah. Hey, we linked up some fronts. Yeah, they're starting to collapse. Good. About time. Throw some more support in there. Now Canada is, uh, Being cranky. Oh, we're improving those relations. It's starting to come up. We're starting to actually get what we what we are asking for out of them. Finland wants to join the faction. Sure. Welcome aboard, Finland. Like, my faction is ridiculous at this point. After we finish off Ethiopia here, which is not going to take much longer, it looks like. We... As I was saying. After we're done taking out Ethiopia here. We need to find the next emerging nation. 
that needs to go away. Well, we got a couple of tiny little guys over here. Wait. They are a NATO member. So that would result in a war with NATO, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Bahrain. I mean, yeah, we just take them out. much of a fight. Um, anybody else that um, any other little green specks we need to wipe off the map? Mexico, but they're a NATO member. We have Vic these guys here. The Seychelles. We have this little bit. Retake core states. Yes. We'll have to bring Afghanistan. Well, we won't necessarily have to bring Afghanistan into that. Um... Let's see, where else? Um, I mean, I guess I could do this. Um, can I justify a war goal against you that would take? It'll take 200 days. Okay, so we've got to kind of hold off on that. But what I'll probably do is just go ahead and say, you know what? Get a naval invasion set up there. Just for you guys to have something to do. Yeah, I do need to get... You upgrade a little bit. All right. Mm. All right. You got to get out of there. Let's go ahead and follow you back to Egypt, probably. that we can actually reduce autonomy on yet? No. Okay. Alright, Lithuania. What we want to do is we want to attack 
a bunch of their domestic independence. Burn off some of this uh, political power I have built up. All right, they accepted some infantry equipment. We could attempt a coup. 77% chance of a failed coup. They have way too much stability and everything else. So what we're gonna need to do is get... Do we really need you combating resistance anymore? I don't think so. I think we're probably fine there so we can have our operatives come over here and right we can't actually do that can we because they're in our faction we can't do any of that all right well that's fine i guess Let's just manipulate your politics. Slovakia wants a bailout. You know what? We'll give them a bailout. Maybe the United States was terminated due to low trade influence. What? You know what, United States? Very well, then, if that's what you want to do. I'll just push that button. And yeah, now we don't have that strategic bomber anymore, do we? Um, no. I'm gonna have to license another strategic bomber. Hey, France! Uh... You got a strategic bomber you can you can give me? Maritime patrol. Close air support. Strike fighters. Air superiority. Light jets, maritime patrol. Uh, hold, hold, hold. I did. I just. There you go. Strategic bombers. Um. Only really, really old strat bombers. Okay then. I guess I'll have to come up with my own. Very well. Enables building nuclear reactors. Nuclear warhead, 15 kilotons. Uh, nuclear reactors. What do nuclear reactors get me? Out of curiosity. Enrich uranium for use in nuclear weapons and or with nuclear energy. Well.
Let's get some reactors built, shall we? All right, now we have the entire American military that we need to integrate. Um, did we seize all their planes by chance? I don't know if we did. Um, well, speaking of, uh, Sam's. Yeah, keep building Sam's. Yeah, I think we took all their B-52s, their B-1Bs. I guess that my air wings for that purpose. Well, for one thing, we need to have you guys not do that anymore. And we need... Yep, all the various B2s uh, we have seized. Oh, good. All right, the entire American military. How many divisions is that? 370 divisions. All right, we will come up with something to do with you guys. Uh, boats. Uh, <laughs> what is all this? We have cruisers. We have aircraft carriers. We got all kinds of stuff. We're going to put you all in reserve. fill our garrisons what our equipment what are you talking about all right we have a finished justification on Bahrain Go ahead and declare war on them. Oh, I didn't actually give my guys orders. Yeah, go ahead and declare war on them. Now, the issue is that I'm going to have to basically call you to arms. They will not accept. Really? All right. All right. Fine. If you don't want to do it, what I can do is I can have one of my Marines just do a naval invasion. All 
lot of successful startup companies decided to list itself on the national stock markets. I mean, we could take a hundred political power. We have five billion from our treasury to international investments. Uh, nah, we'll take the political power. That's fine. One of the things we're going to have to do is update our... Because right now we just have destroyers and frigates. I'd like to add some cruisers to the strike force designs. Because now we have some cruisers in reserve from the American Navy. What used to be the American Navy anyway. And... Uh... These guys are going to probably want some air support. That'll do. Actually, no, that'll do. I'm looking for is you 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 that is the flag that I'm looking for now you'll accept There wasn't even anybody there defending it. So be it. Isn't Malta? Yeah, they're they're getting close to being able. They decided to take it. All right, that's fine by me. I just need to get rid of them. We're probably going to be kicking you out of the faction soon. And then going to war. Yeah, everybody's joining in, but this is going to be over here soon. Below just stand with the 30 billion bailout and sure. No, we don't need to grant out multi bailout. We're gonna be annexing them soon. Alright, that's over. Okay.
Let's just do this real quick. Um, task Force Editor. All right, Task Force Editor. What we want to do? Oh, cancel. Um, I want. There's two cruisers here. Some old cruisers. But that's fine, I think. I guess you were in the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Now I'm moving you to the Mediterranean. Now, if I go into here... The cruisers do show up. Alright, I would like five cruisers added to each and probably two carriers. We're going to now save. This is the new Strike Force templates. I mean, the current strike forces are pretty good. I just want to make them stronger. Fight the faction. Welcome aboard, Canada. tank let's get the utility vehicles going and we're gonna end this episode here there we go all right then We will see what we're going to get up to. Probably hunt down some more emerging nations. Afghanistan has gone emerging. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with them. Um, 
At least all the ones that are not members of NATO, and then we're probably going to have to go after NATO at that point. All right. But we're going to stop here for now. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.